That doesn't shield it from the fact that it's in a corrosive environment. And so in time, if you do not do anything for that structure, it will fail. And it will come down. Time between one and three hundred years after people will likely be the era of the great collapses worldwide. In Seattle, the iconic Space Needle was designed to sway one inch for every ten miles per hour of wind, but with its steel weakened by corrosion, it takes little more than a strong breeze for the symbol of the 1962 World's Fair to crash down from the skyline. When humans disappeared, sea levels were already on the rise. In Manhattan over the centuries, saturated soil around the Empire State Building's foundation pilings have allowed the building to lean. Once a building strays from the vertical, then gravity forces are also acting against the structure, increasing the stresses at the base of the building. Now, we're unlikely to see a skyscraper fall like a tree in the forest, but once it does start to incline, gravitational force will cause the top of the building to collapse downwards on top of itself. Decay has also overtaken the city of Chicago, the birthplace of the skyscraper. The Sears Tower, the tallest man-made structure in North America, has reached the end of its reign.